Hello everybody, welcome back to Spallet Studio. If you guys are new here, hi, it is me Sukhmani. Hope you all are doing amazing. So in today's video, we are going to be painting a landscape using the Himi gouache set. So as you guys can see, I'm using in some blue, white and a bit of purple to mix in and make the beautiful sunset sky. And I'm just going to add a bit more of the saturated colors and adding in some yellow at the bottom to create that sunset sunset glow so i added in white in the middle of blue and yellow so it doesn't create green as you know that is what comes up if you mix blue and green together i added in some orange and some white to make it a bit more brighter and make it pop a little bit more as per the reference that i had here i'll link the reference in the description so you guys can check that out too for the next part, I am making in the clouds, I add in some purple, pink, orange, yellow and white and I'm just adding in a bit more blue to the pink so we get this muted purple shade and adding in some white to create the first layer of clouds and I'm just laying in the paint all together and just going it similar looking to the reference that we have here we're not cre creating it to look exactly like the reference but something that says that it is a bunch of clouds that are smeared across the whole sky now i'm just adding in some brighter shades of pink and making in beautiful clouds and it just takes a lot of time layering up the paint because you have to wait, wait for the first layer to dry before you put in the next layer. Now I'm adding in some clouds that have a bit more orange in them. And the next step I am going to add in more white and create highlights on the clouds that we already had here. Next I'm adding in these blue clouds that are a bit more in the shadows and creates a little bit of a depth in the clouds that we have already created. Now for the landscape of this whole area, I am swiping across the green shade as we always do in our landscapes and just making rough patterns here and there and I really wanted to try this new method here that i thought would look good so here i am painting in like a few mountains at the back that are very similar to the methods that we have used in other landscapes i'm using in very bold strokes of paint and just creating like different areas and different shapes using the different values of the green color that we're using here and for the next step, I am going to take a flat brush that is pretty much dry and making these little strokes of paint using different values of green. I am mostly using a very dark shade of green here. I'm just going to go across the whole surface creating these little grass-like structures using a very dry brush. So now that we're done, I am making this very dark brown and creating the tree that we have in the reference. You can check out the reference through the link in the description and even more references that I have saved up on my Pinterest. You can use those to make your own drawings. So I made this beautiful tree and it is nothing really difficult. I just made like haphazard branches and now I'm using the same technique of dipping in my very dry brush and making these leaves on the tree this is not a method that i use usually but it was something that i wanted to try and here is how it went so after adding in a few different values of green on the tree the branches look more alive than 
they were doing a few minutes ago and now i'm just going to add some foliage in the foreground as we have the grass close to us it is going to be a bit more detailed than the one that we have created before and adding in different values of green i created these very haphazard looking leaves so now using the same technique of making flowers i am adding in a few dots here and there and creating the flowers a bit more bigger than when they are closer to us and the smaller ones when we are looking them far away added in some depth using yellow and orange to create these flowers and next i'm adding in some purple flowers so like lavender flowers probably and it just adds into the color scheme more this is looking in great and after adding a few details it is done i hope you guys enjoyed this video and Maybe if you guys try out the paintings yourself, please tag me or just email me or DM me, whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys soon. Bye.